Hello everyone. So today I have something kind of a little special. A company reached out, EZ, I believe how it's pronounced, and asked me to review their product here. So this is not sponsored, but they did send me this package. This is a crochet kit, and I have a couple of other crochet kits that I have been thinking of reviewing, so please let me know if you would like that, because I have been crocheting for a year now, and I would like to give you guys, basically, is it worth it, is it not? Basically, the plan is to open this package up, crochet it like I was a beginner, and and see how it goes because I think that'll be fun. I think crochet cuts are fun, especially if you don't know anything about crochet, you don't know what yarn to buy, you don't know what hook to buy, you don't know really anything about crocheting these kits, or if you just don't want to do the mental gymnastics of figuring all of that out. But this might be a good option for you. I'm not sure. Let's open it up. I, I received it and I opened it a little bit, but I this is a blind unboxing. I have no idea what are in these bags. So it says, hat is the key for fall and winter outfits. Easy hat crochet kit with com comprehensive guides and video tutorials. Um, brings you the joy of crochet. The beanie also ha the beanie has unique color schemes, which makes you stand out from the crowd. So that's what's on the back here of this. And then crochet companion for beginning for beginning. So this is what, what it looks like when it comes. A little drawstring bag. And here we are. Isn't this cute? So I'll put a picture on the screen of what the end product is supposed to look like. I got to pick out the colors that I wanted to do, so that was really nice. Um, but yes, I'm going to pry this open and see what we got. So there are video tutorials and I'll probably link those in the in the description, um, but I will see if I can get by without it. What is in this kit? There are two pom-poms. So this is a cat beanie, which you guys probably have seen all over the place, but this one has like a little string down with little pom-poms on it. So that is a cute little twist. Here is the first skein of yarn in this creamy color. There's also a needle, needles, a tapestry, a plastic tapestry needle and two stitch markers here as well. The next color here, nice brown color. And this darker brown color. There's also a metal crochet hook, which is very nice that it's metal. And that is all that's in the bag. So that's what's included in the package. We have these three colors that we're going to be working with. The pom-poms, the hook, and it is a 4.5 millimeter hook. So, and actually it has like kind of an ergonomic uh, silicone cover on it, which I really enjoy actually. So, but yes, then we have the stitch markers and the, the darning needles. So there's also this right here. So there is a video tutorial and then there is a beanie, cat beanie diagram where it just, okay. So basically I'll just, I'll probably include a picture, but I don't know if you can kind of, if you can see that. But basically there's a video for tutorials and there's also a diagram. There are a total of 18 rounds, including your first round chain stitch for you to crochet. You can decide the number of chains for each round according to the size chart in D. So the D is um, reference for chains of various head sizes. Well, that's cool. So basically how many chains you do. And it seems like you are going to be switching every row. So awesome. So I think I'm just gonna, I don't think I need to measure my head. I've been told I have a small head, so I'm just gonna do the smallest one. I don't, they only differ by about, well, actually quite a lot. So, okay, I'm just going to start and it looks like the darkest goes first if I want to stay true to this little thingy right here. So I'm going to take the darkest and go ahead and uh, chain 60. I'm actually going to, see what this is here. There's a QR code and I'm going to follow it. Okay, neat. So basically 
it gives you a, a more of a bit of an overview i'll put a a photo of what that is so but i'm a pro and i don't need that i probably will need that i also have some tea with me right now so this is going to be in quite the chill little crochet session yummy tea I'm going to start off by chaining 60. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and watch some of the tutorials to see what they uh, are getting at. I'm also gonna... Yeah, I think, well, I always make my stuff too big. I think I'm gonna, okay, this doesn't quite reach. So I'm going to add the, the extra, I'm going to do the medium size of chaining 63 instead. See if that helps. Because I just, you know, you never know. Yeah, that one. Like crochet stretches, obviously, but you don't want it to be too tight. I've definitely made hats way too tight, and that's just not fun. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the tutorial. I'm not sure if they want you to do it in the round or not. In the Yeezy Crochet Kit, each cap beading is crafted with three yarn colors. Okay, so I will say that you do need to watch the videos if you would like to, to know exactly what they want you to do. Um, so they do want you to join join the, the chain together and, and crochet in the round, which I'm supposing is why they gave you chain uh, stitch markers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Usually I just kind of like make a rectangle and then join or and then sew the sides together, but I've never done it like this. So we'll just try it out. Okay. We are all joined up. Chain two, I'm sure. I watched a few of those videos and I must say they are very in depth and um, they slow it down quite a bit. If so, if you're new to crocheting at all, it's a very good option because um, they will teach you like step by step just how to crochet as well as letting you do complete your first project here. So I, as the video states, I think I'm just going to keep going because Basically, all there is to this cat ear beanie is double crochet. So if you know how to double crochet, then you're, go you're golden. I will say that this yarn feels nice. It's very, um, it's, it's pretty chunky for, it's pretty chunky, which means that it's great to, for beginners. You usually would like to start with the, um, the biggest yarn that you are comfortable with. Uh, blanket yarn sometimes isn't the best to, for absolute beginners because it can be tricky to work with, but I'm talking about like, you know, normal yarn. But yeah, this looks pretty nice. Uh, and the hook feels good to work with too. I like the, um, the ergonomic uh, sleeve on it. it. It feels nice. And it also is metal, so no plastic crochet hooks here because I they do sometimes just give you a plastic one and they are fine. I just, they don't feel as quality as you would hope they would. But basically you, it tells you exactly how many rows to do and everything, which is very helpful. I will definitely go back to the tutorial whenever we have to join the pom-poms because I've never done that before. And that's a cute little detail. That's kind of all there is to crocheting this at the beginning. Uh, here's like, it's gonna fit like that, okay. Maybe I should like time myself to see how long it takes me to, to actually make this. I've done, I guess I probably put about five minutes into it or so, so we can add that at the end. I'm gonna actually do a start timer and actually uh, show you how long it takes to how long it takes to make one of these. I've put on in six minutes and gotten the, f the first row done. And I think it looks pretty cute. So basically I've joined my round and I'm going to now switch colors. So they did not include scissors. So you will have to figure out your own 
on that. But basically now I'm going to snip the yarn, take the next color here, and I'm actually gonna try like a join that I've never done before. Basically magic knot it. Actually, I'm just gonna do a magic knot cause that's what I'm used to. So basically now I'm just going to chain two and basically just start going for it. So basically I just joined some new yarn on and this uh, pattern is super simple because it's just, you know, going in a circle and and double crocheting into each spot that you can and i really like it um, the colors work very very well together they're very cute and i really like the that they have in an in-depth tutorial and um of how to crochet and also how to make this pattern but it also is a pretty simple pattern too if you do kind of know what you're doing and just want some yarn of the right quantities that and probably a little extras and a free or and a hook as well but basically that's the whole gist of what i'm going to be doing i'm going to just be working on on all of this so yeah i might just include a bit of a time lapse of me working on it but yeah that, that's this is where i'm at right now all right so here's just a little bit of the time lapse of me just working on this cat beanie basically i just do a switch on every row basically i do a magic join at the end of each row so then I don't have all of these ends to weave in at the end. Full disclosure, I didn't watch the videos for this part. I just kind of know how to do it because I've done it before. But yeah, basically this is just how it went on for a while. While this is going in the background, I thought I should bring up some of the things I noticed while working on this hat. I really like this yarn. I'll put a bit of what I mean, but the yarn here seems braided, where normal acrylic yarn seems twisted. So if you've crocheted it all, you probably understand the um, annoyance of having the hook go like in between the strands of yarn but that isn't really a thing with this type of yarn because it's braided instead of just twisted, so it's a lot harder to snag it like that. So I, I thought that that was a super cool little detail there. So I basically left and had dinner and worked on the rest of the rows while watching some TV, but now that I'm back, I am following the tutorial on my computer to attach the the strings and the pom-poms because I was pretty confused on how that was going to work. But basically it just has you count up seven rows and then join the yarn on to that side. And it doesn't tell you the amount of chains to do, it just says chain until the width and I think I should have written down how many chains I did do because at the end it's a little bit lopsided, but that's all right. I don't really mind that much, but um, that is how you join the strings to the inside of the hat, which I thought was pretty clever. But the real beauty of this kind of comes with how to attach the pom-poms. I had no idea how we were going to do that since there is no like little indication or anything on that but I um, basically it just told me to stab the pom-pom clear through and then pull the hook through that and then um, and then tie the yarn like that and I was super surprised that that was even going to work because it kind of on the picture looks like it's just like super glued on there or something like that. But yeah, that was um, a pretty cool little detail there as well. So yeah. 
I, you can see in a in a clip how like I'm excited that I am that it actually worked because I was not expecting it to. But yeah, basically that's that's the entire process for this video. I on, since the way I joined, I only had two ends to weave in and but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little process that I showed you of making it. Okay. So this is the finished cat beanie and with completed with all of the the pom-pom. This is a very simple, very fast project. I tried to time myself, but of course I'm not used to that. So of course I um, uh, accidentally reset it and stuff, but I kind of have a good idea. It took me about two hours to crochet up, which is about normal for a cat hat. They sent me all the yarn I needed and I have this much extra, which is a lot of extra yarn. Like I could probably make an entire like second hat with all this. So, and I really like the instructions they send. It gives you like a good um, baseline to, to jump off of. One of the things that I don't like about making hats is that I never know exactly how many uh, chains to do while to make it fit around my head properly. But this gives you a little uh, sizing chart. I went with 63, as you can see, that fit me pretty well. And then it also gives you um, how many rows you go upwards to, which is also very nice. And then, or the YouTube videos are very helpful, especially if you have absolutely no idea how to crochet. They're very helpful for um, beginners because it goes really slow, very clear. And then at the end, I had never done pom-poms like this before. And I was a little worried because they don't have any, like, any way to attach them seemingly. They're just pom-poms. However, um, you, it's actually fine. You, there's a way to do it that's that you just like stab through them. And I didn't even know that that was a thing, but um, yeah. And also I must say this yarn is very soft. So um, it's a very comfortable and warm hat. I can tell it's warm because I've only been wearing it for like a few minutes and I'm already, my head is already warm. I think that this company, uh, Yeezy, they did send me this, but they did not sponsor me. So this is a, a fair and honest review. If you take a look on their website, they only have three products available. There's this these cat hats with the pom-poms, and then there are two different types of tote bags, and they're all beginner crochet kits like this. And the bags seem to be um, all out of granny squares, which is a very beginner-friendly crochet project to do. And I think that that would be wonderful as well. I really like the yarn that they send. It's very beginner friendly, very soft, and they send you way more than enough of it to, to make probably two of them. So there's no way that you're gonna run out of yarn. Then the instructions are very clear. There's um, a bunch of YouTube videos. You, do, you will need access to YouTube because it gives you a start on this pamphlet but it doesn't show you how to do the pom-poms and all that so you will need the videos for that but it sends you everything you need except scissors but usually crochet kits do not include scissors because that's probably a safety hazard but yeah i am very pleasantly surprised with this uh beginner crochet kit i would definitely check it out if you're a beginner or if you just want to have some nice yarn a project that's already thought out with the colors and and um has everything you want in there and and you get an extra hook too, an extra metal hook out of it too. So I don't know what else to say. This is this is a good project. It has my seal of approval. <laughs> uh, so if you want to see more like this in the future, I have another beginner crochet kit that I bought myself that I definitely will be making a video on because I bought it and it's just like staring at me on the shelf right now. Um, let me know if you want other things like this, if I, you want me to, or you want me to find other crochet kits to try or you know whatever is good with that i that that will be all for this video if you liked it please it, like the video and consider subscribing to my channel it'd mean a lot to me and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day